This is K2 News at 11 on your side. Tonight, a horrific story that left Multnomah County commissioners speechless. As a physician, a man's body sent to Portland all the way from Louisiana. His family thought they were donating his remains to science, but instead... They were appalled after learning that Mr. Saunders was autopsied in front of a live audience. His wife calls it betrayal. Added to my grief for his loss is the vision in my mind of his naked and defenseless body being dismembered like a butcher preparing an animal carcass for sale. Months later, Multnomah County commissioners are making sure this never happens again. What is wrong with people, frankly? Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Reich Gasaway. This is the Louisiana man Multnomah County commissioners say was the subject of that public autopsy at a Portland hotel last year. His name is David Saunders. Now, county commissioners are taking steps to make sure public autopsies are a thing of the past in Multnomah County. K2's Eric Mock joins us live now. Eric, people actually pay to see an autopsy at this hotel. Exactly. You know, according to Multnomah County death investigators, people were paying up to $500 to get an up close look at an ongoing autopsy that was taking place in a hotel ballroom of all places, and they didn't care who was lying on that table. Elsie Saunders describes her late husband David as a hero. He was a very young man who responded instantly to the call of duty to his country and flag. That's her addressing the Multnomah County Board of Commissioners this morning by phone from her home in Louisiana. David Saunders served in both World War II and the Korean War. He died at age 98 from COVID-19. Elsie says her husband wanted his body donated for medical research, but she says that's not what happened. Added to my grief for his loss is the vision in my mind of his naked and defenseless body being dismembered like a butcher preparing an animal carcass for sale. Saunders' body was dissected in front of a live paying audience inside a Portland hotel ballroom last October. A death investigator for the county said people were allowed to touch the body and no one was wearing proper protective equipment. Board members were visibly emotional as Elsie shared her horror at what had happened. As a combat survivor of World War II and the Korean conflict, he did not deserve this, nor does anyone else. Which is why commissioners move forward unanimously to ban the practice of public autopsies for profit, something none of them ever thought would even be necessary. This is just appalling that something like this has happened here and appalling that we have to make an ordinance so that it doesn't occur. Like, what is wrong with people, frankly? This new ordinance would fine violators $1,000 per day per violation and make them relinquish any profits from it to the county. Both commissioners and Elsie Saunders say they hope other governments will follow their lead. I can only hope and pray that another family never goes through this nightmare. Now, Multnomah County, uh, you know, they have to go ahead with the official approval. That's going to happen on April 21st. This is the first reading. That second reading will happen then. And they're said that they're actually going to push this up to the state legislature and see if them, some criminal penalties can be levied against people who would try to do this in the future. Now, reporting live, Eric Mock, K2 News. Eric, thanks for that. This is a look at the Death Science website. There's a link to a page on the site describing what full body donation entails and the benefits to science. It also lists options for body donation by each state. However, it does not provide information on where Death Science gets their cadavers or how much they pay. This is a developing story. We'll be sure to keep you updated as it develops.